What's up, man? It's your boy, Quizzy, man. I'm back. And I got my son here. Got that Vegeta hair going on, boy. Y'all, man, so today, so we're gonna be doing Bill Burr owning a dog, okay? So that's the reaction we're gonna do today, y'all. Man, I love Bill Burr. I'm talking about every single time I get on here, I laugh. So now today, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna see, we're gonna see if it can make us laugh. But I know good and well with Bill Burr's comedy style, like Bill Burr, he's one of those comedians that we need to protect. For real, for real. Cause he said it like it is, and he keep it real with all of us, don't he? All right, son. Son look like Wilson off a of castaway, boy. All right, man, so we gonna play this all the way through. We gonna do a try not to laugh and see, man. I hope I I hope I don't, I don't think I'll laugh. Man. No, I know I'm gonna laugh, man. We gonna see, bro, we gonna see. Never understood that, you know? <laughs> I love my dog, but uh, I've learned a lot on being a dog owner, man. You know, any dog's a good dog unless you're a psycho. You know, I got a pit bull. It's still a great dog unless you're a fucking psycho. And evidently, I'm a psycho because my dog has been a, just been a complete maniac over the last like six months. You know, I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes. You know, yes, that's like if you're chilling, they're chilling. You know, if you're sleeping, they're sleeping. But if you're a psycho like me and you're screaming at the ref on TV, being like, dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me! I didn't realize the dog was over in the corner being like, yeah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't know what this guy's mad at, but I love this guy. This guy feeds me. Is it the door? Are you mad at the door? That's facts. That's facts. Dogs got your back. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a cat person. I'm not a cat person. Dogs got your back. They'll they'll bite somebody for you. They'll do whatever they they will do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Dogs are loyal, man. I love my dog. Yeah, I had no idea it was amping this dog up. I'm so selfishly in my own world. I'd be like on the computer and would crash. You'd be like, oh really? Really? Dogs Thanks. over in the corner with like a chew toy. <laughs> I never noticed like that game seven look she was getting on her face. Oh, shit. And one day I amped her up too much, had no clue, and I went outside. We were just walking down the street, and some poor bastard comes the other way. The dog's like, that's that motherfucker. Yeah! <laughs> Lunge at this guy. I had to pull her back. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. She's never done anything like that, right? Looking down at the dog. What's wrong with you? Dog's looking up at me like, huh? I got that son of a bitch, didn't I? I love you. You feed me. I got you. How the hell did you see him that far away, man? Your ears must be better than mine. It's unbelievable. Wow. Right? Then I got nervous. I got nervous around my own dog. I started thinking, fuck, are pit bulls really like this? Do they just go psycho? Man, this is nuts, right? That's another bad vibe to have around your dog because they pick up on that vibe, right? This dude comes walking down the street and I immediately just start thinking like, oh shit, she gonna do it again? Oh shit, oh shit. Dog just looks at me like, oh shit, what? Oh shit, what? Him? 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 Ah! Runs another guy. Got to pull her back. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Looking down at the dog. Dog's trying to chest bump me and shit, right? Dude, it got so bad one day, she almost, she almost ate a landscaper, right? Yeah, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta take this thing to a trainer, man. So I load it up in the Prius, and I drive over there, right? Thanks, okay. Yeah, I have a Prius. Go ahead, judge me. <laughs> it does not seem like he would have a Prius, bro. Like, out of any car, I definitely would see a muscle car, a Mustang or something like that, but a Charger, maybe even a Toyota, just not a... That is a Toyota, isn't it? Okay, let's go. I love that shit. If you have a Prius, people, you know, you can't win. You got a truck with a big lift kit, people, oh, it's probably because he has a little dick. <laughs> right? How come it's not because he has his dick down to the floor? Maybe that's why he needs all that clearance. Right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> if that means you have a little dick, then if, if I have a Prius, doesn't that mean I, I have a huge dick? Right? Because according to my friends, it means I'm a fag. Right? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Let me towel off here for a moment. <laughs> so I fucking take this dog down to this trainer, right? And I show up, got the dog in the back. The trainer comes out, he's got his hat on backwards, he got stubble, you know, big, large cargo pants, you know, all shorts on and stuff. And I'm thinking, this guy's a psycho, right? And I look at my dog, my dog's like sizing him up. I'm like, this is perfect, he can handle him. So the guy goes, all right, when you hand this dog to me, make sure you got the leash totally taut like that, all right? Don't have any slack in it. I said, no problem, right? And somehow I fucked up, I left a little slack oh, in it, shit. and this dog just lunged right at the dude's balls. 
right? Oh, it no. just barely missed him and just got a big mouthful of his big cargo shorts, right? And immediately he just grabs it and goes, all right, get out of here, get out of here, right? But instinctually, I tried to help out, and he just goes, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that the only reason why the dog was acting like that was because I was there, and it felt like it needed to protect me. Oh, so wow. the second I left, the situation immediately just became awkward, right? The dog was just sitting there like, okay, like, I thought we were, like, together, and we were, like, friends, and you were some bad guy, and all of a sudden, you just drove away, and I don't know how to feed myself. You want to be friends? <laughs> Wow, bro. Yeah, I come back four days later, the dog's laying at the guy's feet, all right? He's rubbing her belly, she's reaching up, playing with his goatee and shit. <laughs> and he goes, go ahead, have a, have a seat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, take me through your day with this dog? Oh, Immediately shit. Immediately, I started getting like this first 48. Hey, bro, I, I was just about to say, you said first 48, I was just about to say, look, if, if anybody sits you down and be like, hey, look, so tell me about this situation. You know they, you, they are in to tear you a new one. They are in to tell you, they have it out for you, boy. They definitely have it out for you. The eight vibe, right? Like they're coming at me. So I got like defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I take it for a hike every morning. He goes, that's good, that's good. Anything, you know, special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. She takes a shit. I pick it up. Sure. It's like, all right, easy. <laughs> oh, shit. You play any games with her? I go, yeah, at the end of the hike. I let her, I let her, you know, for reward for going on the hike, I let her run up the stairs by herself. I go, go on, Cleo. I let her run up the stairs, and I count five, 1,000, and then I run up there, and then we start wrestling. Put her in a headlock, sweep her front legs, ah, right? <laughs> but her tail's wagging, you know? She's not growling. I go, that's a good thing, right? He's like, no, it's fucking horrible. Oh, wow. I'm like, why? He goes, you just taught your dog to claim the house and then fight for it every fucking day after the hike. <laughs> no wonder this thing's trying to attack the mailman, you know? Wow. So then I got upset. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. You're telling me, like, I can't even play with my dog? He's like, no, you can play with it, but you got to bring that energy back down. Right. The problem is, is you keep amping this thing up, getting that Mike Singletary look on his face. <laughs> then by the time you walk out, doesn't matter if you're relaxed. Mentally, the dog is like walking through the tunnel at the Rose Bowl, like, this is what we play for! <laughs> somebody hit somebody! <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually learning to control my temper because of a fucking pit bull. Wow. Hey, bro, but you never know, like, that is little things in life that you would never think that like, damn, bro, just because you went through that situation, it'll, it'll help you control other aspects of your life, bro. And it's funny, man. God has a funny way of working, bro. I promise you that. I promise that to you. Man, look, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. When you, when you have a dog, honestly, I remember when people would tell me, like, don't feed the dog meat. Like, meat, like, that has blood in it stuff whatever because then that would make the dog more savage want blood and stuff i'm like bro there's a lot of fucking rules to a lot of things that you wouldn't even think would happen you know like even my son love him love my son love him he picks up on little things that i do now i'm not comparing my son to a dog what i'm saying is that my son picks up on little things that I do. So when I be like, ah, oh, damn, man, the goddamn computer shut down and shut down. And so I, I see my son in the corner like, <laughs> he start doing that when he gets mad. And I'm just like, oh man, I gotta be a better example, bro. People are actually watching me. Besides YouTube, people are watching me. I need to set a better example. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Help your boy out, man. Help, 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 help your boy out, man. Y'all be safe. Look at my son. AJ, say bye-bye. Okay.